All right, let's talk a little bit about um, exporting and importing PostgreSQL databases. Now, the question is, why would you do that? What kind of a scenario we are talking about? So consider an example that you have a database with a table and that table has a lot of information. And you want to give that particular data or the whole database to someone or someone is creating an app and when the first time the app actually runs, it should create the database with all the data in there, all right? So how would you do that? So there is a utility called pg underscore dump, which can actually dump all the data or the database or just the data into a SQL file, which can be run later on. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to see if, in, if I even have any tables. Well, I do. I have a table called task. So let's go ahead and see if we even have some information in task. So I'm going to run the SQL command, select all from task, and it's going to return me the result showing that, yes, I do have data in that table. Uh, the ID is one, two, three, four for each of the records. And there's another column called title, which uh, represents the title of the task, like watch the car and feed the cat and so on. So I want all of this stuff, all of the data to go into a file, like a really like a file, SQL file, so that I can give it to someone else and someone else can run it and create the same exact database with the data with the tables with the same exact thing. So how do I do that? So let's first get out of the PSQL mode. So right now I am in my terminal now, you can see. And now I can start running the command. So pg underscore dump no owner and then the name of the database. So the database name in this case, as you can see, is Task DB, T A S K S DB. And where do I want to put this? Like when it creates the SQL, remember that we did, uh, or actually, we, yeah, we did the SQL commands and all that stuff, uh, which were creating the tables and all that stuff. So it's going to generate all of those uh, SQL commands for you. So let's call it dump.sql. All right, so wherever I'm running this command, it's going to create a file called dump.sql in that particular uh, location. So let's go ahead and look at that. Uh, definitely there is a file called dump.sql. So let's open it up. Open, uh, let's open everything up actually. And we are interested in dump.sql. So forget about everything else. Just look at this file. So this is a file that is created automatically um, using the pg underscore dump command. And you can go through this file and you can see what's going on. And here's your table, create table. And it, this is the schema of the table. So if you run this, it's gonna create the table. But where is all the data? So let's check out even if it has data. Oh yeah, here we go. It has all the data. Isn't that cool? So now, if you send this file to someone, they can actually use this file to create the same database on their machine. So there are so many different usage, uses of this. Um, maybe the person who, like you're writing a web application or you're writing an app, and you want to just create the database first time, right? So you can run this file and it will create the database for you with also some data being inserted. So it's going to insert this data, all right? It can also be used in automated kind of environments where nightly it is getting the data and inserting into a backup data and, you know, replication servers and all kinds of things. So we've learned that how we can create this file, how we can dump all the data from our database and tables into dump.sql file, but how do we get it back? So right now our data is over here. So let's say if I, send this file out to someone called Mary, 
how is she going to use this dump.sql file to create the same exact database on her machine? So we're going to take a look at that now. Okay, so we'll go to the command prompt of the terminal and we already have the dump.sql file which we created and now we need to load it into a database. So the command is psql and the name of the database. So let's just say task db backup and then the arrow changes from a different direction. So this is now arrow going from the dump.sql file towards the database file. And it's going to say that, whoa, 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 what are you talking about? The database does not exist. Well, and it's actually right. The database does not really exist. So we have to first create that database before we can start dumping uh, stuff in there. All right. So, all right, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm now inside the PSQL now, so I can run my uh, database commands now. So I can go ahead and say create database and create the database. So create database and the database name is task db backup. I don't know why I saved that. Um, oh, okay, sorry. The, all right, here we go. For some reason, it doesn't like the hyphen over here. All right, so we have the uh, database created, all right, and I can actually run the slash list command, and I can be 100% sure that, okay, that the database has been created, which is task db backup. Definitely, it has been created. It, most probably, it's not gonna have anything. So let's go ahead and exit from here. And let's see if we can run our command again. Now that our, we have our database and look at what actually happened. It went and it did something like it created the database, it created the sequence and it altered the table. Well, how can we be sure? Well, let's go ahead and go to the database. And this time, uh, let's go ahead and first list it. All right, so this is our database. So let's go ahead and we can actually connect it connect to the database, which is task db backup. All right, let's do a slash dt. Ooh, so that database that we just created, which was empty, now has one table. All right, how about we do a select all from task? And there we go. So you have seen that how we have created the database, it's empty, and we ran our, we, we use our dump.sql file which we created uh, previously, and we dumped all the data and all the tables from dump.sql file into a brand new database called TaskDB Backup. And that's the real power of pg underscore dump. It allows you to take a dump.sql file, basically structured query language files, which is .sql files, and read it and then put it executed and then created basically a database and tables and relations and data and schema and everything. All right, so try it out. You have, a, you can actually just also dump, just dump the data, just dump the schema if you want. So uh, definitely try it out.